Greetings from all of us here at Wilmer Hall. Wilmer Hall was founded in 1864 by Bishop Richard Hooker Wilmer as a home for widows and orphans. For the last 159 years, we've been serving young people in our communities. Wilmer Hall currently has six programs, Transitional Living, Transitional Family, Education for Life, the Philippa Sterling Hamilton Education Center, the Max Miller Education Program, and our Delivery-Based Food Ministry. This past year, we had a total of 55 residents in our two residential programs. We've served 59 students in our on-site education program called Education for Life, which has a 100% promotion rate in the 13 years since its inception. We also served 50 students in our two community-based tutoring programs, and we've delivered over 400 loads of groceries to individuals and families through our food pantry. In any given year, we serve over 150 young people in our residential and education programs. Wilmer Hall's keys to success have been an individualized approach, positive reinforcement of successes, thoughtful and caring responses to setbacks, and genuine concern about the spiritual well-being of each person. For our residential programs, the goal is to assist the residents in developing the educational, vocational, and social skills necessary for successful transition to self-sufficiency. The mission of Wilmer Hall is to provide a safe home for children and young adults in need due to poverty, abuse, neglect, and homelessness. We serve all children and young adults without regard to race, ethnicity, or religion. Wilmer Hall extends warm and nurturing care to every child and young adult on our campus, ensuring they are surrounded by people who love and support them. Our goal is to help children succeed in four areas, physical health, emotional stability, academic achievement, and spiritual maturity. Now, one of our longtime house mothers, Ms. Constance, will share her Wilmer Hall experience. My experience uh, as a house mother at Wilmer Hall has been tremendous great. I love working with people and I have met so many different people from all backgrounds. And um, it just has been a nice experience for me because um, some of the guys that I work with, they really look up to me, asking me questions and value my opinion. So it's, it's really been great just being able to help somebody or be positive, or po a positive role model in their life. And uh, even though I'm not their natural mother, some of them really looks up to me like I am. And um, that means a lot to me. They value what I say. So I don't mind, um, you know, giving them my opinion. And sometimes I tell them that's just what it is, my opinion. But just to guide and direct somebody in the right direction has been uh, great for me. And I enjoy doing it. I've been a house mother at Wilmer Hall since 2014. When some of them first come, um, they quiet, and some of them really don't know which way to go, don't really want to do anything. But after they be here for a while, some of them attitude changes. They go out and get jobs. Some of them say, I'm going to start school. I want to do this. And they, they begin with their goals. So I do see um, a lot of good things in the um, program because they do um, start doing a lot of things once they get here. Uh, they, like they motivate it and they change, you know, and go ahead and do what they need to do to um, get to their goals. I had this resident um, that grew very close to my heart. And when he came, um, I think his mother had passed and he didn't know his father. And he was in high school. And um, when he first came, he was kind of quiet and withdrawn. But um, got to be close with him, with guiding him on what he needed to do. Um, he finished high school, he graduated, and then he started um, nursing school. And um, after nursing school, he started doing some other little stuff. But to me, from where he came from and his background and not having that um, support, I think he did very good in life. And to right now this day, we still stay in touch and he's doing good. He's a traveling nurse. 
He travels from state to state and he stays in touch with me. And he's just like, he grew like, he's just like a part of my family. And we talk all the time on the telephone. So that's my success story. He's um, just like part of my family. We still have a relationship with talking and he calls and let me know how is he doing and where he's at. So he's doing very well for himself. My grandchildren are involved in the education uh, program. And like I said, it's a wonderful program. Um, it has brought them through a lot of, um, of things. Um, my, my oldest granddaughter started in kindergarten and she's now in the eighth grade. And when she first came to the program, she was shy. And then the teachers would tell us that she was below her reading level, that she wasn't gonna be able to do this, she couldn't do that. But once she started that program, She's now above her reading level, and she stays on the honor roll, and she's doing wonderful. She can communicate with people now. She can talk. And um, I have uh, three other uh, grandchildren also, two other grandchildren that's in the program, and they're doing wonderful. And um, they're doing skill building. They learn uh, different skills uh, with things before they even get to it. And that's what helped them when they do get on something, they already kind of know how to do it. So they do a lot of skill building and reading and um, all kind of work with them. So I really appreciate the program. I appreciate them having the opportunity to be in the program because they are doing wonderful, great program. Great instructors, uh, Miss Eugene and Miss Rosemary, wonderful. And all the tutors that come from the uh, the different um, colleges are doing a wonderful job over there. From Miss Constance and all of us here at Wilmer Hall, thank you for being a part of our family.